everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to make your own little name tag in Tinkercad. So as you can see, we have the main screen here. I'm going to do create new design. It's going to take some time to load. So the first thing we're going to want to do is pull in a box. I'm going to pull a box and I'm it's just a thing that I like to do where I like to pull it to the corners so then that way it just makes things easier and I'm going to make it pretty thin I'm going to reset my view because it kind of got tilted really I'm going to pull it down till it's about four millimeters this is just personal preference but four is a good distance between being super duper thick 22 and being thin like one and we're going to kind of pull it out so it can fit a name a lot more effectively I'm going to make it 60 millimeters long by 20 wide so if you're new to Tinkercad you might think that in order to do this you're just going to pull in the individual letters to spell out whatever name you want to do. But there's a much more efficient way of using this text block. So you can edit the text. I'm going to do Jake for mine. I'm going to change it to a font. I don't know which. I'll, I think Sans Mono looks the best. And uh, I'm going to up the segments mostly for the J. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to pull it down till it's 17 wide. It's a little too tall, so I'm going to make it smaller. And now I kind of realize that four millimeters is too thick, so I'm going to pull it back down to two. I'm going to make the actual text four millimeters. So now I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to first hit a line going to align it on both of the axes so then before I move anything I'm just going to hit group so now this is frozen in place I'm just going to hit control G or control Z to undo that I'm going to go to basic shapes and I'm going to pull out a tube for this. Then I'm going to pull the tube down to 2 millimeters so it is flush with the main plate. I'm going to add in, I'm going to like change the radius if it's not exact, but I think it's perfect. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to increase the wall thickness to 2.5. Uh, you know what, three I think would be better. Because you want to balance between doing super thick like six and doing super thin like one. Because this is going to break, then you also get a lot of space. And on six, it's super thick, but you don't get much space. So I think a happy medium between the two is around three. Uh, I'm going to increase the sides so it's a lot smoother. This isn't needed, but uh, and it can increase the times that Tinkercad might take when it's doing computations. But I just like it, and I think it's a lot better and looks nicer. So you could do a bevel segment and kind of bevel the edges. But being this is simple tutorial, I'm just going to take these and group it. I'm going to turn that back to red. So now you have a pretty basic keychain. You can repeat this for any type of name, or it doesn't even have to be a name. Could just do any word. I would caution you that doing a word that's way too long would not be a good idea. Like I'm not the. I'm just gonna do. We'll just do this. 
Discord, you know, they get longer. If I were to do multilingual or multi-language, sorry. It gets a lot longer and trying to fit this onto a keychain would be a big pain. So I caution, just use small words and names. Names tend not to be super extremely long. So now all you want to do is once you have it, you want to do export STL and just do everything in the design. Save it to your desired desired place. When I'm doing all of downloads, it's going to save it. And there you go, you have a keychain. All you need to do is bring it into your preferred slicing software and then print it. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe and please smash that like button. If you have any ideas for tutorials, just leave them in the comments down below.